when he pushed. So spawning in the top left hand corner, once again we have Prince of K-Town, our purple Terran. And spawning in the bottom right we have Quantic Gaming's Masson. Yep, uh... So, uh... K-Town, I feel, is, uh, what, the only representative for Vanessey left in the tournament? Uh, I think we have uh, Itra, or I don't remember exactly how to pronounce his name. Uh, er Errata, Errata, yes. right. He right. was a uh, waitlisted, and also Kyo was waitlisted. I do believe they're actually having their match right now. Uh, Kyo and Hart are duking it out. Uh, yeah, oh, that, I'll be interested to see that replay later. That would be great to cast. I'll, prob I'll go through uh, the other games and just do some casting. If you want to, we can do that together, and I can upload them. All right, sounds sounds like a plan right here. We have K-Town, though, going for a Supply Depot on the low ground. This is pretty interesting. I mean, I, I've seen before, but you don't see... I don't... Spanish he's not going for any... Much. Yeah, he's not going for any <laughs> specific cheese, then, if he's trying to go down on the low ground. That's very peculiar. That rack's coming down immediately. No more funny business with the NG Bay this time. <laughs> Nah, he's not even going for the scout out. I'm surprised, actually, not to see Prince of K-Town try to end this quickly. He did that with his uh, first match up against uh, uh, uh Masan going for the four. Um, oh, interesting to see if he maybe if he grabs a gas here or if, if he's just going for the, uh, the early protection. He might be. He's pro Oh, double barracks, though. At the ramp. Yeah, yeah K-Town going for his trademark two racks. Surprised not to see a Reaper rush. How that two fares against this uh, earlier pool timing. Most Zergs either go 15 hatch, 15 pool, or they'll go through the 15 pool. Just and then the in 15 time, hatch. the hatch goes down. <laughs> so SCB needs to move up that ramp. He needs to see what there, what's uh, what's up there. Overlord yeah, is he's gonna, he's gonna hopefully see that the pool is already finished. Two Marines are already on the way with two Zerglings and a Queen. Yeah, uh, just in case anyone didn't know, two Marines does beat two Zerglings, but it'll be interesting to see if K-Town goes hyper-aggressive with this two Rex like he's known for. Uh, if spawning pool is enough to make it good. Definitely. <laughs> oh, nope. Here he comes across the map with the... Oh, God. If he's doing it, he's doing it. I... Uh, you're trying to bunker rush a Grandmaster. Go, Prince of K-Town. Well, uh, in... well, again, uh, Prince of K-Town, King of Bunkers. There's a Zerg. Right. He's going to get the scout off. He knows what's coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Masan is going to know exactly what's up. That bunker's going to have to go down soon, though. The hatch... hatch is done. Oh, yeah. Uh, two SCVs actually going down to the third. He's oh, making oh. sure... There's... All of them drones. Oh, he's doing it. There's the uh, Static D going up. Prince of K-Town needs to get his second bunker going. There's the second. Where's the third? Yeah, five Marines out now. Second bunker on the way. The third is being used to repair. Oh, and he backed himself into a corner. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. K-Town. No. Doing actually a lot of drone damage here. Worker supply is actually equal now. And he killed some of them. Oh, the bunker. Literally one second away from dead finishing. Marines. All those dead marines. One dead second dead. away. He needs to cancel it. Oh, cancel. Perfect those timing. Those marines had families, Vex. Those marines had families. And we can tell those families that the bunker was one second away from being finished. Otherwise, they could have lived. <laughs> I'm not sure how that'll make them feel. Uh, marines are on the way back because he knows the counterattack is coming. And is it coming slowly but surely across the map? Yes, and the, that three racks wall in is actually really, really strong. It's really tough to baneling bust that wall. Yeah, those barracks have a ton. They have the two little supply depots on each side. He's gonna go for uh, he, what is his ghost for the pit down? Slow reaction time there. He might have just been focused on another part of his base. Uh, he, he'll be all right unless uh, Masan tries to put on some really hyper aggression really soon. Damn that he can be aggressive, but he he can also play a very solid macro. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna see Masan actually go for a third hatch here after this because he knows that there's a third base most likely behind that wall. And actually, I don't know if he can see it. He can't, but the Overlord's actually floating over there to double check. Oh, he sees it right there. Oh, 
Oh, those Marines getting trapped on the outside. That's just unfortunate. That was a bad, uh, I'm not sure why that happened. The rally points are set to the inside. I'm not sure if he just moved the two Marines in that depot, or if there's some Marines stand behind the barrier. The path thing, maybe. Yeah, and we do have, uh, gas now. Oh. Double, uh, double gas coming up. And the K-Town's also on five racks again, which tells me he wants to put more pressure very soon. Yeah, but we don't see a Baneling Nest yet, at least not that I've seen so far. No, but he is taking all four gas at the same time. Mm. Reminds me of a very, uh, Wings of oh, Zerg opening. I want to see what comes out of this. He is floating quite a bit of minerals, I'm not sure what he's going to spend it on. Double tech lobs going up, we'll see if the upgrades follow immediately. Yeah, this is looking very similar to the last game from K-Town, only this time he lost a bunch of you right at the right at the beginning, even earlier than before. But he's able to hold it off because he actually had a wall in that wasn't just a bunch of supply depots, and there's no banelings to speak of yet. Very true. Uh, Masad might uh, intend to just re-rack's wall and is so solid. Okay, there's the lair tech, so we know he's not going for a Oh, there is a baneling nest. Excuse me. The baneling nest is, in fact, coming down, and that's a little bit late, but, I mean, Masson obviously has a plan for it. It'll, for the lair, he'll be able to get baneling speed almost right away. Definitely. So upgrades coming out of both players again, looking very, very similar to the last game. Yeah, uh, K-Town is definitely, definitely a ways behind in, in uh, Akers, though. 45. Army supply is actually equal at this point, and if he were to actually attack now, I feel like he'd have a chance before those uh, Bane lanes actually got morphed. Putting his engineering base right at the front, again, I'm, he's done this before, and I'm not sure like what the purpose is. I understand that it, it makes the wall a little bit like sturdier, but if you lose those engineering bays, you lose your, you know, you lose your upgrades. Definitely. So he is taking a risk there, but he does not want to see a baneling bus be uh, as successful as it was in the last game, I think is what he's really afraid of. That's very true. Uh, Mistan just breaking down the rocks at the third base. Uh, loses a, a zergling or two there to the rocks falling down. It's kind of funny to see that happen. He's plenty more links though, that's for sure. His spire going down right at the front as part of the wall. That is a ballsy sp Oh my goodness. That that spire has balls of steel. So Prince of K-Town moving out. Yeah, that that spire has balls of steel and I don't care if it is made of flesh. And yes, K-Town being very aggressive again. Uh he saw that scouting Zergling though blocks. saw it. Yeah, he's very supply block too. Oh, he doesn't 13 have Bane to Lings away. as the response to that scout. That's very uh, Marine heavy. That's going to melt away. Yeah, this is gonna. This is gonna look an awful lot like the last game. I have a feeling pushing out on the creep, not even bothering. To oh, okay. oh, from the behind uh, through the bushes. Oh, 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 he microed into the Bane Lings. Oh no, K Town. Oh, K-Town, the miss micro. 10 to 30. He, the thing was, though, he didn't miss micro because those bushes obstructed the vision of those banelings towards him. So as far as he knew, he was retreating to safety, and those banelings sneaking through the bushes uh, into uh, his force. That will be one for the highlight reel. K-Town, so few units out compared to Masan. Down 106, 3 supply. A fourth going down for um, Asan, so he's not going to be two bases ahead. A Zergling staying at the th uh, the third to make sure, so he knows when that's going to go down. And going ahead and burrowing that Ling just in case K-Town tries to fly over Definitely. Over Speaking of which, there is that third CC, so he will definitely figure out two more barracks, go three more barracks going down. My goodness, why are you going so bio-heavy? <laughs> K-Town definitely his aggression. He likes... He likes to have his production up, that is for sure. Uh, and to be quite honest, he, he kind of needs it at this point. He's so, he's so far down in supply, he can get out as many units as he can as fast as he can. But he needs to macro up at this point because he is two bases behind. His main is, well, his main's actually not as mined out as I expected it to be. Uh, it's really weird. He has like one patch mined out and the rest are rather full. 
Yeah, uh, the effect of mules, what can I say? He's uh, not. He's always uh, calling them down on the same path, it looks like. Yep, that infestation pit coming down from the sun looks like he either, he either wants to revoke the hive tech. 2-2 two, two, almost done for both players. 2 plus 2 attack almost done for uh, We do have a drop coming up, too. What is uh, Masan have in the back? He has no spore oh. crawlers to speak of anywhere. Hey, but he does have a pack of mutas, and he's, this drop is going to get... Look at the amount of overlords. The, the, the sight space. radius on Masan's map. He has just every single drop direction covered. Yeah, if this drop gets to even land, I will be shocked. Oh, it looks like he's going to try to take out some overlords, though. Masan has plenty of overlords to spare at this point. Two banelings actually... Almost detonating. That would have been perfect had he just walked a little more to the north. Yeah, that's where I'd been. I have so, a feeling those could be dangerous. So, Omni supplies 48 to 81. Still not really favoring uh, Prince of K-Town. He's about to be supply blocked again unless he gets his uh, supply depots down. Two more, yeah, three more barracks. Oh my goodness. K-Town really starting to mix in the Hellbats too, which I I always feel like is a good idea for the Terran. The te Hellbats are really good at absorbing Baneling hits, and they're very good against Nurglings, and even... He's very upgrade numbers. heavy also. He's already getting three attack. <laughs> yeah, and the Zerg player is also at 2-2. Two, two. Like, uh, uh, it'll just be interesting to see how long his upgrade advantage lasts. Uh, the creep spread by Masan is also insane. So that he is has almost... Almost complete map vision. He has uh, all the way up to the third. He's not been doing very much cleanup. Those banelings still up there. Random mines everywhere. Taking out more of those. Oh, the mutas finding this uh, medevac. Yeah, and K Town. He doesn't. He's only got one medevac left, and it was that one that almost died just now. He's got uh, every single unit that he's making can be healed by a medevac, and he's got one medevac. Oh, wait. Really? He's going, this is for you, Purge? Oh, oh, he's doing the SCV poll. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, the fact that he said that, and I'm pretty sure he said it to all. I Oh, Masan's going to know what's going on immediately. 200 yeah, supply versus 129. It's pretty much... Oh, the morphing, though. K Town oh. knew that how behind he was. He, he knew. And it was all. GG from Prince of K Town, the all in suicidal SCV attack. Yep, another, another game where K Town got really, really aggressive.